Yeah, here in Warrensville, I mean, it's a lot of tradition here. You know, when I was nine years old, I could recall the, the, 90, the 91 team having a great basketball team, and I just couldn't wait, you know, to get get to the high school and, and play. You know what I mean? It was a lot of tradition. Guys like Brad Sellers, Curtis Broxson, uh, Aaron Biderman, Warren Biderman, you know, Joe Wise, Mo Green. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, it's just, it's just so much tradition here that, you know, when I came up, it was just, it was an honor for me to put that Tiger uniform on. And, and what I'm trying to do now that I'm coaching is to bring that pride back. You know, get these guys to feel some of the things that, that, that we've accomplished. You know, put some banners up on the wall like, like we did. And, and I think these guys are buying in now and, and they're starting to, to understand what I mean by Tiger pride. With guys like Montel Goodwin, he's a senior, you know, transferring from Chanel, you know, he wasn't really one of one of one of their main guys last year. So being here is a new a new thing for him, being one of our better players and, and, and accepting a role that he's never been in. But he's 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 done a great job with it all season and um, he's he's been been a big part of the reason why we're in the position that we're in now. You know, also with him, you know, we have a a big time freshman in Yavari Hall who's been great, you know, pretty much all season long. But the last month of the season, you know, he's been excellent. You know, he's been the player that we knew he could be. And, um, you know, we have a, a pretty good junior class as well, you know, with Jalen Jackson, Jermaine Brown, Charles Franklin, who I believe is one of the most underrated players in, in Northeastern Ohio, and um, John House, who's been, you know, insurmountable to, to the success of this team. He does all the little things that, that, that we need to win. So um, I think, you know, the future is very bright for Warrensville. We only graduate three seniors, so we got a lot coming back next year. So like I said, the future is bright for us. As long as kids continue to buy in and work hard, we'll be okay. You know, you do the little things at this point. You know, you give yourself a, a great chance to win the game. And, and our guys have really, really stepped up our defensive intensity and, and, and they've done a good job of that and turned guys over and sped the game up and um, I think that's the type of preparation we're going to do going into this game Thursday. My staff has been excellent. I mean the, the first call I made was, was to Tony Brown, my head assistant coach. Um, coach Brown coached me in AAU when I was in high school so you know me and him we talked a lot on our AAU trips. I mean, we were we were like best friends. You know what I mean? It was like he was the coach and I was the coach on the floor. So it was it was only right to call him to you know really help me out and help build this program up. Um, my second call was to you know my assistant coach Dominic Mann. You know what I mean? He's, he's like my right hand man. He does a lot of the little things that we need to to build this program. Um, I mean, it's, he's he's really you know he does a, a a little bit more than I do you know, for this program, and you know, I can't thank him enough for what he does, and um, my last call was to Coach Martin, Paul Martin, he, he coached me at Chanel, he was one of our sister coaches on our 99 state championship team, and you know, it, it, it was only right to, to, to bring guys that I knew and trust and, and really believed in me and my vision and, and what I wanted to bring to Warrensville to, to help this program become what it used to be, you know, and um, I mean, those guys are great. They help me out a lot, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually blessed that they're on my staff.